So you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Nashville, Tennessee area? Well, today we're going to take you on a tour of the Ballinger Farm subdivision here in Nolensville, Tennessee, which is about 23 miles or so southeast of downtown Nashville. And if you stick around until the end, I'm going to share with you my personal favorite aspect of the neighborhood and it's something you might not even realize from just driving through yourself. So you don't want to miss that. All right, let's get to it. And if this is your first time on the channel and you'd like to get to know the Nashville, Tennessee area a little bit better, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to get all the inside information on Nashville and the surrounding areas. My business partner and wife, Noelle, and myself help people just like you every single day buy and sell property in the Nashville, Tennessee area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you plan to move in nine days or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a zoom call and let us help make your Nashville move super smooth okay we're headed down Rocky Fork Road just turned off a of Nolensville Road headed east towards Nolensville Elementary School which you can see up here in the distance we're gonna make a left on to Newsome Lane, headed towards Ballinger Farms. And of course here to the right, we do have Nolensville Elementary. To the left here on Nolensville Park uh, Road is Nolensville Park. So it's really convenient. Ballinger Farms is zoned to Nolensville Elementary, Mill Creek Middle School, and Nolensville High School. And it is the most convenient neighborhood to Nolensville Elementary School. All right, we're coming up on the, the main entrance here at Ballinger Farms. This is where we started the video. I'm gonna make a right into the neighborhood. There are 270 homes in Ballinger Farms. And the average price over the last year was $636,000. And the most expensive home ever sold in the neighborhood was $755,000. That was in June of this year, 2023. And all the homes were built between 2004 and 2012. They were built by Beezer Construction. They started here at the entrance. So these these homes here are going to be are going to be the oldest. These are going to be built between 2004 and 2005. And as we get further into the neighborhood, the homes are going to get a little bit newer. And you might notice that we got uh, sidewalks on one side of the road here, just on the uh, just on our right side. We do have underground utilities, and we got mailboxes on the road in this neighborhood. These trees I've really had a chance to grow up to. Fairly mature here at the beginning of the neighborhood. going to make a right here on the Ingle Nook Court. This is just a little short road here with a cul-de-sac, but we want to drive you around as much of the neighborhood as possible to give you a really good feel for it. You can see the leaves are starting to change. It's the end of September right now when we're filming this. And the average square foot of uh, the average size of homes in Ballinger Farms is around 2,700 square feet. Okay, let's see, we're gonna make a right back on the Ballinger Drive. And you 
notice we got some Halloween decorations already coming out. That's one thing I can say about Ballinger Farms is that they really get into the holidays, uh, whether it's Halloween or Christmas, there's gonna be a, a ton of decorations going up. And uh, I can tell you from living in the neighborhood for nine years that Halloween is really, really a festive time. Lots of trick-or-treaters. Ballinger Farms really does the holidays up really good. Um, to our left here, we do have some green space with some picnic tables that we'll check out a little closer here in a bit. But yeah, even the 4th of July, there's going to be a lot of people out shooting fireworks, really, really festive. This, this is a neighborhood that really gets into the festivities. All right, here we're going to make a right on the Creekside Drive. This is one of the main roads in the neighborhood. And we're gonna make a right on the Dandelion Court. Just drive me around here so you can see what the neighborhood looks like. And more green space here to the left with some more picnic tables. these homes down through here do have wooded backyards currently but all the property behind these homes could one day be developed I'm gonna make a right here on the looking glass lane this is the road that Noel and I used to live on and again to the right all these homes back up to woods but that property could be developed. I think it's zoned CD 2L, if I'm not mistaken, which is which is a half dwelling unit per acre. So it would be much bigger lot. So it wouldn't be if it were to be developed, it wouldn't be as dense as this neighborhood. And this home right here to the right, 1844, this uh, is a home that Noel and I were the original owners of. We lived there for nine years. Really enjoyed living in the neighborhood. You'll notice here that most of the homes in the neighborhood uh, have uh, brick and vinyl siding. There are a few homes in the neighborhood that are all brick. All of the homes in the neighborhood have two car garages. And this is Spruce Springs here to the right. We're not gonna drive up that road. There's only a few houses. It's a little cul-de-sac. We're just gonna head on down here on Looking Glass. We're coming back up on Creekside Drive. Now Creekside almost had a major uh, had a major change a few years ago when the town of Nolensville planned to connect Creekside. We're taking a right here, but they planned to connect Creekside Drive to Salia Court, uh, which is in the Lock Ridge subdivision, which is a whole separate video. So be sure and check that out as well. You can see those homes there through the trees. That is Lock Ridge, and this road was originally supposed to connect to Salia Court but the residents here on Creekside banded together and petitioned the town of Nolensville and Beezer Homes to have a cul-de-sac put in over there. We talked about that a little bit more in the Lockridge video, but there was a big concern for cut through traffic, for people cutting through from Rutherford County, uh, trying, to get, uh, trying to get to Nolensville a little bit quicker. Okay, and here we're gonna make a right on the pomegranate place. So yeah, that Save Creekside movement really uh, changed what what was planned. It would have been a lot more traffic coming to this neighborhood, so that kept it a lot quieter for sure.
and the Ballinger Farms doesn't have quite as many amenities as there are in some of the other subdivisions in Nolansville. But with that said, it's also got a lot cheaper HOA. I believe the HOA runs around $23 a month, which is considerably less than a lot of the other subdivisions in town. And Ballinger is actually a really great uh, neighborhood to get into if you're trying to get into the Nolansville, Williamson County uh, area for the lowest price point possible. This is a uh, this is a great a great uh, spot. If you have kids, there's tons of kids in this neighborhood. And, So it's a really great spot for kids. As I said, it's one of the most convenient neighborhoods to Nolensville Elementary School. The Sherwood Green subdivision, which is a whole separate video, so that you should be sure and check out. Uh, Sherwood Green is closer to the elementary school probably, or about as close, but it is across Rocky Fork Road. So kids would have to cross over Rocky Fork in order to get to the elementary school. Okay, and here we're heading down Creekside Drive again, heading the other direction. I'm gonna make a right here on Daphne Court. Just another little small side street with a cul-de-sac. And you'll notice that all these houses back up to woods as well, on Daphne Court, along Creekside. But, the property behind these houses will not ever be developed. And that is the focus of my favorite aspect of the neighborhood that we'll check out here in just a bit. Okay, we're back at Creekside again. I'm gonna make a right. I'm gonna make sure you stop at the stop signs all the way. Nolensville Police Department loves to, loves to hide out and watch for people at these stop signs. And it's, it's a big safety issue. It's definitely safer to make sure you stop. Lots of issues in the past with people blowing through these stop signs, so the Nolensville PD has really cracked down on it, which is a good thing in my opinion. All right, making a right here on the Passion Flower Court, another little side street with a cul-de-sac. And once again, the woods behind these houses will always remain, will not be developed. Another right on the creek side. And to the left again, we have the, the green space with picnic tables. Now we're gonna jump off of creek side for just a bit here. This is one, one area of creek side we might not go down, but we're gonna make left on the peppermint lane, which wraps around the green space and connects back to Ballinger Drive. So we got lots of nice mature trees here. Provide lots of shade. One downside to Ballinger Farms is the roads are a little bit too narrow for the number of homes in the neighborhood and it was somewhat controversial. Somehow it slipped through that the, the roads got built not quite wide enough and parking on the road here in Ballinger Farms is a little bit of an issue. They've tried to alleviate it by putting up no parking on one side of the street sign, uh, uh, signs uh, on one side of the road. But before they put those up, people would just park on both sides of the street and sometimes you couldn't really get through. All right, and we're gonna make a right here on Cranberry Lane. Again, we're just driving you through to see as much of the neighborhood as possible. Really beautiful with the leaves changing right now. 
it's the end of September, I think. Yeah, tomorrow is the first day of October. Cross over Creekside here onto Coriander Court. And when Noel and I moved to the neighborhood back in 2012, we built one of the last homes in the neighborhood over on Looking Glass, which I pointed out. I think we paid around 265 for that house and just this past spring I believe it resold for six hundred and seventy three thousand dollars so prices have really shot up not just in this neighborhood but all over Nolansville right and Gonna make another right here on the Creekside Drive. And the next stop sign here is Cowan Drive. Now this is the other alternate entrance into the neighborhood. If we were to go straight, we would go to the Stonebrook neighborhood, which is a whole other video that you, that you got to check out. Um, and if we made a right, there's a few more homes that are in Ballinger Farms, but then it turns into the McFarland, McFarland Woods subdivision, which will be a whole separate video as well. So just be sure and check those out. Okay, now well, we're going to make a left on the Cowan and head back down to Ballinger Drive. As you can see, we got more Halloween decorations starting to go up. There'll be a lot more before Halloween actually gets here. I'm very, very confident of that. All right, now as we get back down here to Ballinger Drive, that will conclude the driving tour of Ballinger Farms. And we'll go check out some of the other aspects of the neighborhood. And as we mentioned, Ballinger Farms doesn't really have some of the typical amenities that we see around Nolensville, such as a pool and playgrounds, but it does have this really nice wooded area with some picnic tables. It's a great place to come and relax, connect with nature a little bit. This runs in between Ballinger Drive, Creekside Drive, and Peppermint Lane. And we also have a second little wooded space here with some picnic tables off of Dandelion Court. We already talked about Ballinger Farms being zoned to Nolensville Elementary, Mill Creek Middle School, and Nolensville High School. For elementary school kids, it's a really easy walk. You got the sidewalks here in the neighborhood that you can take out to Newsom Drive. Again, we're heading down Ballinger Drive right now towards Newsom. We're exiting the neighborhood. This is the main entrance where we started the video. And elementary school kids, they can just take the sidewalk on the left. Right, we're exiting the neighborhood and we got the sidewalk over here to the left. 
hopefully you can see it, but it kind of winds around. It's kind of far off the road. But it does run straight over to the Nolensville Elementary Campus. And then there's also this walking and bike path that's just along the side of the road here. Now this is for the middle school and high school kids. Uh, they can take this path, which leads up here to Rocky Fork Road. It's kind of a long walk, but it's definitely a reasonable bike. Pretty easy bike. You're gonna take this path and it has a crosswalk right here on Rocky Fork Road and the path cuts over and runs behind the Sherwood uh, Green subdivision over to the Summerlin and the Nolensville High School campus. So pretty easy way for high school and middle school kids to bike to school. Okay, at the beginning of the video, we promised that if you stuck around until the end, I'd share with you my favorite aspect of Ballinger Farms, and it's something that you might not even realize if you just drove through the neighborhood yourself. And for that, we start at Pomegranate Place, and this is a walking and bike path that runs through these heavily wooded area behind Creekside Drive, and it goes all the way up to Coriander Court. And this is the reason why all those houses on this side of Creekside and those little side streets will never have any other developments go up behind them. And that's because this path is a permanent fixture in the neighborhood. It's owned by the HOA. And let me turn the camera around here so you can see a little bit more. You can see that it's just really, really beautiful. Lots of really tall, mature trees. It's always very quiet back here. Just a really great spot to come and connect with nature. Get in some, get in some steps. The number one. There's not many neighborhoods in town that have paths that cut through such densely wooded areas where you can really just escape and enjoy nature. All right, and this concludes our tour of the Ballinger Farm subdivision. If you found value in today's video, please hit that like button below. It really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell for notifications. Finally, my name is Matthew, and whether you plan to move in nine days or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call. All of our contact information is below, and let us help make your Nashville move super smooth. Talk soon.